Good night, guys. A good, great night to all who tuned into the realest thing coming out of Guyana. Tonight's going to be very interesting uh, because tonight we are going to be talking to a PNC member who just resigned today. Right? His name is Lennox Casper. Right? Now, why? What would have caused his resignation? Um, and there, there are some very damning things that are going to come out. And you got to hear from the people who have been affected in self compared to ha hearing from other political parties who have their own um, political interests and interests in sharing their own brand of propaganda. You will hear tonight from the man in self, right? Let me try to get him on the phone. So let's get Lennox Gasper on the phone and Good evening. Hi. Good night, brother. Uh, sorry for the long wait. Um, but I was having some technical difficulties. Uh, just to... I've just been talking to my viewers and made them aware of who we will be having on tonight. Mr. Uh, Gasper. Gasper, is it right? Is pronunciation? Yes. It's Gasper. Lennox Gasper. Um... Mm -hmm. Just before we start, Gaspar, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. Being the Guyanese critic and being the heir of the people on the ground, I know a lot about who is who. But today is the first day I would have heard about you and then realized you would have joined the PNC in uh, 2015. And as a result of you being that dissatisfied... 2016, I joined. 2016. I've been a supporter. I became a member in 2016. Okay. Um, yeah. Can you give me a little bit of your background and what would have caused you to join the PNC? Just for the viewers to have an understanding of where you're coming from. Because I can tell you, I have already seen a statement uh, released by, I think, Fogera from Linden. And he's suggesting that you're an opportunist. Now, opportunists are people who are always at the front and center and trying to get things. Like Fogera himself. Right? Exactly. I ain't know you. I never see you before. And now I hear, well, buddy, you just quit. You ain't able with whatever is going on. No, and you ain't able with it. So give me a little bit or give our viewers a little bit of your background, who you are, what you're about, and why you joined the PNC. Um, well, you said the name, and uh, I don't necessarily need to go to dealing with the name. Mm. But Lennox Gasper has always been a person that stands on principle. I live and grew up in Linden, and I've been involved in community groups, church, and these things. And all my life, once I join a group, I try to understand what are the principles of the group, the culture of the group, and I try my best to see how I can impact the group. Because whenever I join something, I want to contribute. I want to ensure that my presence is not necessarily wasted. So I live by the philosophy that I touch my life generally must touch, move, and inspire people. You understand? Even in the church, I would have sometimes ins and outs with the, with the pastor and leader when it comes to not being fair in terms of disciplining members, 
when they step out of line, sometimes they recognize that, oh, the scripture is here and it's got to be kept. But then when it's a friend of the pastor or another comrade in the deacons or something, they tend to want to let things slide under the carpet. But when it's other people, they're ready to put them to the judgment. And I've always been a defender of people, a defender of, 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 of principle and policy. When I decided to join the APMU AFC, um, I was, it was around the local government uh, time. And I, I'm living right now in a community which is known as Retrieve, and I recognize the surrounding area needing development. Now, when I moved in, I purchased um, a property close to an open, empty lot. And that lot was overcrowded with bush and all kinds of reptiles. And I moved immediately to try to get things leveled. However, I was told to start a group, and I wasn't really up for a group and to take contributions, but a group developed out of it, not pushed by me. But um, the bottom line is I made a move to get it cleared down, and I was advised to involve the people. With that, I got some attention from the local party leaders because they are going towards local government elections. And I was approached by several of the small parties that were um, going in the direction of local government. And I had always had a thought part towards ASC and the principle that they stand for and the independent views that they hold and all of that. So, of course, I'm listening to everybody and I'm thinking, you know what, there is much I can do in this town. There is much that I can contribute to my community in terms of development. And it so happened that on the morning of, um, I think it was Remembrance Day for the soldiers in 2016, uh, I think, or 2016 or 2015, um, because the election, it was wrong the December, the Remembrance Day was in the December, so it would have been 2015. And Sandra Adams spoke to me when I left that um, Remembrance Day ceremony, and she said, man, Join the APN. You come, come with us. We are going to um, push you in terms of getting to contribute and to get on the council and what have you. I said, listen, there are some things that the AP, that the PNC stands for, because I know my grandmother um, was a PNC, God rest her soul, and I know some of the ins and outs. I said there are some things that the PNC stands for that I do not subscribe to. You understand, but because I have a heart for my community, because I have a heart for uh, things, I was convinced by her. Because I told her, I said, man, I, I, I like the AFC. And this is me being honest and straight up to you. And she said, oh, the AFC ain't got no way to go. They can always be, the furthest you could go is be deputy um, mayor or, or better, but the AFC ain't going away. They don't. That was her word. You know, and of course, there were some other small parties that would have approached me, and I said, man, I need to be able to make an impact. I need to be able to ensure that when I get involved, I can contribute. If that is what Mr. Figueroa is considering as an opportunist, well, he got to know what he's talking about. Right? I'll deal with that further down in the show when we get going. Okay. So after I was convinced, I decided to go. I said, man, I don't really think I want to deal with the joining and all of that. But if a person can um, serve without having to join, it's not a problem. I was convinced that I can serve without having to join. By the time we, we um, were successful with that election and persons were appointed, because I even told them they were going to put my name as both PR um, and constituency rep. I said I do not want to go as PR because that means I will have to represent the party regardless of I said, put me as a constituency rep because I want the people to make that decision. If they want me, fine. If they do not want me, that's okay. Because it was explained to me that, oh, if you go on board with, regardless of whether you get the votes or not, you can still get to go on the council and we need somebody like you. And I said, no, put me on the constituency list because I live by the principle people before party. You understand? Yes, and sir. And there, I decided that um, I was going to let the people make their decision. When we got through now with the election, then before we were sworn into the council, we were told 
everybody got to sign up who aren't signed and everybody got to become a member. I did raise my issue. I said, you know, I hate when people go back on the words. I have a problem with liars. However, I felt that the bigger picture is for the people who would have ex expressed their trust in us, in me. Okay? And I decided, all right, send it to I signed up, and let me tell you this, critics. It is still May of this year. It is supposed to um, be up because I paid for the um, five years, okay, or, or four years, some, something like that. And it was it's May of this year. It is supposed to be up before renewal. I said, you know, I just let it die a natural death. But then when I saw what happened in Parliament yesterday, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. That was, for me, the limit. I felt that I'm part of a body of people that seems to operate without thinking, without good planning, tactic, they're not tactful, and I can't be among a bunch of mindless people. Right? Now, a situation occurred, and it, it occurred outside of the house. Um, and you you have a position on it. The, the speaker cannot rule on the position until an investigation is done. Your next move before is to move forward with questioning the, the um, bills that were presented and make sure you represent the 217,000 people that voted for you. But no, because you really did not have any proper preparation for nothing. For none of the details, because I listen to them. Because you have nothing of substance to offer in terms of representation, you decide this is an opportune time for us to start our, our, our game. And it is the records that, 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 that pushed me to this way that I decided, you know what? That's it. I'm not going to wait for it to, uh, to, 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 to expire and die a natural death. I will make that difference, because I always live by the philosophy. I make a difference. And I will make that statement and that difference. Because they always know me too, to be a vocal person in the council. I never agreed with them to move the town clause because they did not follow the public servants' procedure. They did not follow any of the um, constitutional law for the Municipal and District Council Act. And so they know that. They know that fully well, which is why the reason they decided to out me from the council in 2018. But we get to that. So that's the background on Leonard Stark who has always been the kind of person. Some people say I'm an activist. Some people say I'm an antagonist. You know, people have the, 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 a right to their own views. I hear you loud and clear, Lennox. Some of the questions that the people have, and this has been turning up in the comments, and this is a wise question. Um, yesterday's actions in Parliament was the straw that break the camel's back for you. Um, can you tell me, a man such as yourself, uh, suggesting that you're a man of principle, and I can hear it in your voice, right? I can see that it took a lot out of you to make this decision in terms of resigning from the PNC today. Um, can you tell me what were your thoughts on March the 2nd, uh, 2020, and thereafter, what was going through your mind being a part of the PNC? March the 2nd, 2020 is a remarkable day. A day so, after. Um, I don't, I, I, let me just back up slight a, a bit. Right? I was, that photo that I sent there that you have, was the campaign, the radio campaign that we were carrying in London. And at several of the campaigns we meet in, I kept asking, did you touch base on the ground? Did you reach the people on the ground? What are the feedback you're getting on the ground? And you would hear things like, oh, we had this rally and you see a, a sea of green, or we had this live show and 2,000 person um, view in less than an hour. And I would say to them, um, sea of Green does not convert into votes. Um, likes on Facebook and, and these other social media don't transfer into vote. Are you a 
to reach the people. And the reason why I asked those questions was because there were several other things that had, would have happened that inject the the, 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 um, the party and weaken the trust of the people and the confidence of the people in the party. But persons felt that they had it locked. And they did not, they choose to, in my opinion, deal with it with a slack hand, and they went forward, taking for granted the people. If you don't reach the people, you're as strong as the old, as the same goes as the weakest link. Even members of the party are forced to be silent with certain things. When you go to a meeting, they will tell you, oh, we need a report. We, 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 we move forward. How the hell are you going to move forward if you fail to look back? You would be doomed to repeat the past if you don't correct. And th th those were the practice. However, we go forward now to um, March 7, 2020. March 7, um, after the election, I think it was about two or three days after, I was approached by the same Figueroa. You know, I really didn't want to come on this show to call me, but I didn't choose to follow the, the postings and the comments of people because I wanted to keep my mind clear. But the fact that you mentioned uh, Mr. Figueroa, I can call Mr. Figueroa Lee. And Mr. Figueroa knows me to be very truthful and very much vocal. I do not play with my words. Mr. Figueroa was the man that came to me and said to me, I think it was around the same, it was this sort of thing. Gospel, yes, we got to go back on the radio. We got to talk uh, and rally up the people because the PPP trying to steal the elections. And I said to him, I said, first of all, campaign is over. And I am a journalist by profession. I don't bluff. We don't, you don't go on radio and do no campaign after the election. That don't work. Second of all, every party has a representative in the polling station there when the count is going. How come we cannot um, declare our statement to poll? How we know whether or not we win? And, and, and I reminded them in 2015 that we were the first to put um, the, the, um, the statement to poll to the media. And all of a sudden, uh, five years later, we are not putting our statement to poll. We're keeping it for space, keeping and we just we just peddle in that we win this election. And I refuse to believe that. And so from there, some of the business, the anger would have started. And people start to ask who get, get buy out or who gets sell out and all and, 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 and kind of crazy stuff. But those things don't worry. Those things don't worry because I understand the nature of the beast. And so I, um, I never uh, decided to set foot, but I was following all the, the happening. And with the, with the court case, when I looked at certain things, I said, they ain't going to win this. This ain't going to win. They ain't winning this. And I predicted all of what went on. And it happened exactly just as I said. And I'm going to tell you something here, Critic. That petition for the... Um, that, that is there on, uh, um, to be dealt with, they are going to lose that too. Because I know and I don't understand who is giving the legal advice. I don't understand what is the position um, and, and, and the, the <laughs> I don't want to go down the third road, but I really think that um, Mr. Ford should review the law and make sure he advise the party right. Especially with the other day when they try to put something, the, the court cannot rule on matters of the uh, executive. It's not a it's not a petition. This is a matter that is being debated in the house, and you're trying to drag the court into the house. How is that possible? It was not expected. Any Joe, anybody who, whether not even a lawyer, would would be able to understand that that wouldn't make sense. And these are the things. And the thing is, when they when they package the information and they throw it to the um, supporters, the supporters believe it, um, hook, line, and sinker, without questioning anything. And they really don't like when you start questioning. You become a problem for them when you start questioning anything that that, that, that is being told to you. And that has been the problem with me being a part of the party. Mr. Mr. Lennox, um, you clearly said you recognized that something was wrong after March the 2nd. 
let's say, let's play a hypothetical scenario. Um, the PNC were able to forge through with their attempts to rig the March the second election. And you were given a position. What would it, your stance have been? As I said before, I hold on principle. And personally, outside of the fact that I am a person who is very sharp and straight on what I have to say, I am sure they would not have. But even if that was one of the considerations, I personally was, uh, was not going to be part of that. You understand? I personally wouldn't want to have any part of it. I hear you loud and clear. One of the problems that I'm having, being a social activist, um, you know, wearing many hats, uh, I would say so-called journalist, um, as, as people would refer to me, people in the media fraternity that I have literally walked upon their shoulders and their heads, um, you know, you, you, you get people calling you all kind of names. And I can tell you, um, as a black brother, your battle to bring the truth to the Guyanese people has now begun. Because when you stand against a great wrong, um, people do not accept. You know, just before talking to you, Lennox, I was talking to a friend. And I was explaining to him, brother, Jandi can't help you. First, you have to accept that you would have done something wrong. And if you're going to the pandit, for the pandit carry away something that they upon you, you're getting, you, you, you have a wrong perception of what your problem is. Now, that being said, um, you know, I want to, I want to ask, and as a question needs to be asked, are you looking at affiliating or hooking up, in layman terms, hooking up with any other political party uh, anytime soon? Or you, you have your eyes on any political party? At this moment, no. But I personally would have a lot of internal uh, reasoning to do and also personal evaluation. Because I can tell you something. All parties function along a certain principle. You understand? And most of the core principles, at least for what I've seen in Guyana, right, is the decisions are made and, and, and handed down. And for some parties, you, you just don't have that liberty to question. I have seen the difference in, um, in the with the AFC, but then they also have changed their coating and become more like the PNC. Okay? And I'm not going to be a hypocrite to myself. All right? I have also, you, I used to always say that the PNC and the PPC, in my opinion, are the two sides, two sides of the same kind. But then, as one person put it, one side seems to be shiner than the other. Because they have some uh, principles. One, the, 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 the battles that they have, they make sure they maintain, they keep it internally. Um, somehow, our battle seems to be always um, external. Well, I would say our battles, the AP and UAFC battle seems to always be external. And this is primarily because they refuse to listen to the people. The people, they, they're supporters. And we would have seen what went down with... Um, the PVP when Mr. Jaglio would have come back to basically restore the people and to bring this uh, to bring them to the, the um, election victory. He went to the bottom house, he went to the people and they talked to them one on one. They beat them in the house in the yard. And this, these are the things that the um the AP and you never seem to understand. For some people a simple photograph with the with the leader, it, it, it's a lot for them. Come and sit down on a platform and eat their shine right. And let them understand that you you embrace them to understand their situation. You see? Not um have them elect you and then lord yourself over them. Either they will stay away from the polls like what some of them did, 
order will vote against you and you will suffer the consequences. So because of these things, you know, I have a lot of thinking to do. I mean, I, I have seen within the, the, the makeup of the PVP, the way they would have changed in terms of even putting some people who have not basically been with them for a long time, whatever the new um, postural policy, how they're working, this, that. It's like you recognize there is a strategist and there are strategies that are being executed. And these are some of the things that I really thought that the brigadier would have brought to, to, to the table as a military man and having supposedly supposed to have tactics and, 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 and be, being a strategist, you know, and be very tactful in, in, in all the settings. I was shocked after three months when David Granger said that he did not see a statement of polls. He saw a spreadsheet. What leader can sit back and got a whole rocket, a nation to answer to, and then take a spreadsheet from your, 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 your junior that you would have said, whether the Minister of State or whatever, give you a spreadsheet and you accept that? I know for certain, certain leaders would have demanded that all the spreadsheet come in there after and spread it out and bring some young people to post each one and tabulate each one. But you know what? He accepted what was told to him. Lennox, um, just, you know, we've never spoken before. I, I, I saw the article in the newsroom. I called Neil Marks and I said, I want to talk to this guy, get a contact for this guy for me. And he sent the information to me. I called you. I said, this is what I want. And I, I, I told you my name. I didn't tell you a guy he's critic. And I said, do you know who you were speaking to? You said, yes. Now, from then to now, just in what you're saying, you know, someone being fairly read in psychology, I have an I have a in-depth understanding of when people say what they mean, and that has been a that has afforded me the opportunity to be the leading person when it comes to my feel in this country. Um, just talking to you for for a matter of um, less than under half an hour, I realize um, clearly that what you say you are and who you say you are, I would stand and believe what you said to me. Now, being a fair, open-minded person, accepting that mistakes were made in the party that you're a part of, you have decided now to move away from that. You said you need some time to think. Um, all things being equal, the reality of Guyana and where Guyana is going is clear. The PPP-led administration has expressed uh, an attitude of hunger to give to the people. And in under six months, they've been able to some extent outdo what was done by the previous administration, now co coalition um, opposition, outdo them in a mere six, just under seven months. Do you see yourself serving the Region 10, the people of Linden, who have been bypassed for a number of years? Not the only people have been bypassed in this country. The indigenous people have been set aside for some time. But do you see yourself serving? If the environment is favorable, do you see yourself better serving the people of Linden and Region 10 with a PPP administration, with an association to a PPP administration? Critics, let me say this in answering your question. I have the mental maturity to admit and accept, even if it's an enemy of mine, when they do right, to compliment them on it. And when they do wrong, to criticize them on it. But you know, some people don't seem to understand, accept, and respect that kind of a principle. Right? And I don't always have to look at something, and because you don't like somebody, you just shoot them everything that they say or suggest or whatever. 
because I want to see development in retreats, in Linden. For me, it doesn't matter who brings it. We are all children of Diana. And if development is going to come, I will take it. And if it means the, the, the service, we have to work with, with um, whichever government is in position. And the thing about it is not as though they, they, um, they, they're asking you to sign a membership card and be a member of the party just, uh, before they can help your community. You talk about the individual, you talk about the community. Unlike the PNC, and I, 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 I'm being very straight and honest because we were all told, and I will not put the other councillors from the third council on the spot, but they can get, um, endorse what I'm saying. We were told you have to, before you go to the swearing in, you had to sign to become a member of the party first before you could serve your community. My service would be seen in my eyes critics as service to my community. Because if I can design a plan right now for a play park and take it to Minister um, Edgel or any of the ministers um, to, to, for development in my community and they decide we can put money to it, it's not for, to go in gospel pocket, it's to, to enhance the aesthetics of my community. I would want it, but you want to tell you something what would happen? The original chairman of Linden will be called and be told to rally up a few people and go and protest gospel to stop that. A million people don't know these truths and they don't hear this. And that has been the stigma on the situation. So we are playing like a pawn and no development comes to Linden. None whatsoever. And if, let me touch on, in answering the question, the whole um, issue of Mr. Figueroa talking about um, I am an opportunist. Mr. Um, Figueroa is very condescending and deceitful in his dealing. You know why? I was mature enough to send Mr. Figueroa before I sent out to the media. This resignation, I sent a copy to Mr. Figueroa. And Mr. Figueroa replied, thanks for your contribution to the party. And now this man is going to go make a post. You know why? He's got to please his masters. So who is really the opportunity? Ask him why he joined the party. Ask him why he double crossed Thomas Solomon, who brought him and introduced him to um, people in the party. Ask, ask him why he stuck up to a lot of the leaders of the party so that they could have given him that MP position because he was a JC in the party at the time. So who is an opportunist? We're talking about opportunists. No position was promised to me. You understand? The media yes. didn't promise me anything, but I've been watching and I've been I've been embarrassed by the people that I choose to serve with and to serve under. Continue to drag me, my integrity, what I stand for, and what, the people that I influence into this mar of, 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 of this thing. But I am prepared for the name. I am prepared for all of that. Some people will never try to look at things objectively. We have got to move Guyana forward. We have oil, we have other things. And look at the state of Linden. Now, if I can get things done in Linden, we want a new sports club. Well, look at the condition of this, uh, uh, the McKenzie Sports Club for years. And the government has decided they want to do something to sports club. Wrong. It's a problem. Oh, they got to go to the RIC. And the RIC will fight the power. The power is fighting because the, the, the embrace for the government doing because of the pressure that's coming from within the, the powers that be behind the scenes in this region. The situation with the, with the, um, the, 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 the stadium that is being set up at Bayra, everything is an issue for development because you know why? The, PNC tell itself we don't want the um, PBP look good. Because if they do it and they do tenure, they're going to look good and we're going to look bad. What crap is that? What crap is that? People know who they want to vote for. People know who they want to vote for whenever they got to go to the phone. It just, does it matter? But you know what? They are so insecure. 
the, 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 that, that is the, the level and, and, and place at which they think. I noticed a, a, a comment from um, Ms. Carol Joseph. You know, Carol Joseph said she, she wished and hoped that um, I get the position and money offered by the, the PPP and something, something, you treat her up. I don't want to use this opportunity to tell her I hope that she's listening. But even if a position or money was offered, it would be well deserved. It's not as though they are any offered, but I'm saying it would be well deserved because when she took up that position that she took up in, in um, that ministry where she was consultant or advisor, what the heck? What, what did she know to advise? She was getting money on the part pretend. Yeah. And betray the trust of the people that would have put in the government in and, and, and they would have put her there. But you see, I want I want to deal with, with personal. Let me come off of that. I hear and, you. I, I, I'll stick with the fo focus of the program. Lennox, I hear you loud and clear. And what I would you know let me tell you something, Lennox. I have my heart, my soul, as badges as I move forward in what I want to do for this country. And listening to you has really humbled me because not very often you find people who are adamant about what they do, who are patriotic about their country, and who will take a stand? I take a stand every day for the people of this country. And this stand that you have taken, after listening to you, I'm willing to go past the fact that you resigned from the PNC today. And I want to look forward to working with you in developing this country. And what I will suggest tonight, sir, is as you say, whether it is was hypothetical, you're you're making mention of doing up some play park or something. If there is a project that you see need be done in your community, WhatsApp me in the morning, and I can tell you, my brother, before the month is out, I will ensure that that project is completed. Whatever that project is, I will talk, walk, go to whosoever office I have to go to, to ensure that project is done. That being said, what would be the purpose of doing that? The purpose of doing that is to ensure that you remember that for your hard work and dedication to the people of this country, you can, from time to time, once willing to work with others, deliver. So I want you to take into consideration my offer, not because of the fact that I'm affiliated with any party, but because of the fact that I, yes, am respected by most people, except for those who want to see less than the best for Guyanese. But I'm hoping that through you, we can work together and ensure that Linden, the community of the, the town of Linden, the surrounding communities of Linden, the communities in Region 10 can get what they're deserving as a result of someone as adamant as you are, Mr. Lennox, about development for Guyanese. So think about what I'm telling you. Let me say to you, Critic, I accept the offer. Because like I said, and I will continue to say, for me, the development for my community and for my people is paramount. And if any of the, the, the um, members of the PNC believe that, oh, they, that, that style of realism will cause me to cowardly pull into a corner and not 
um, push for development, they got another thing coming. I have actually started to, um, the process to develop a, a plan to have a park the, um, place here. I've spoken to an architect to draft that plan out for me. I have aerial review already outlined, not far from, it's not far from the council, everything. Because you know what? I was in the council, and Mr. Adams, the regional chairman, it was told to me that he was on small man show tonight, um, ridiculing me and talking me down that, oh, I didn't get this done, and I didn't get that done, and I didn't get the other done. I'm living in a community where I got fields where neighbors are complaining about mosquitoes, reptiles, and all of that. And when I take the issues of the people into the comfort, you'll be shocked and amazed to hear the things that I, I, I am told. I represent in, in a constituency not far from me, there is an elderly woman living by herself and a yard next to her, overgrown with dense bushes. And, and, and I, I will request it for them, for the council to clear that. I actually have to stage a one-man campaign in that council to be able to get these people to bulldoze the, the bush. But you know what? They did pile everything up to the lady fence. And today it's all overgrown. The people that live around, there was a swamp in the middle. I, I, I went to the petition council. We needed 20 loads of sand to backfill that place. I decided I know how the council stay. I said, I'm going to ask for half, I'm going to ask them for 10, and I don't work to get in the rest. And you know what the council approved? Seven. I said, somebody still got to need the other three. And it was a problem even for them to spread it for the people. The resentment that is being done right now in Spikeland, I would have pushed for that to be done. And you know what was told to me? Those people who vote for the PPP. What that has to do with, 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 with reaching out to the people? How else will you win people? Unless you do. Well, you know what they, what, what they say? When you play the full cap eat your dinner. And if now, with your input, my input, and the ministers, whoever that are listening to this program, input is to develop linen, and we can work together to get things done on the ground in linen, and let the people see and feel the impact of the government, well then, let the chips fall where they mean. I dare the leaders, the local leaders, to, to approve whenever letters reach to the, to the level of the council, the RDC or the, or the municipality, that they approve and, and, and push Linden forward the claim that they, they, they are for Linden and they love Linden. Ask, Ms., um, ask Mr., Mr. Holland, who is ridiculing me on his Facebook page when he was the mayor. The toll booth that he brought back to, 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 to um, charge the people for the maintenance of the road, which the money never used for the maintenance of the road in any which way. Eh? He needed to put it in that by law for the, for the toll booth that every person must pay, even the local businesses. And of course, the vote went in overwhelming again, got uh, for it to happen, and it's just myself and another um, comrade at the time who voted against the situation, and in less than one week, Mr. Um, Carmen Holland brought Bakewell in the, uh, a petition for us to waver Bakewell. You claim you love the people. You, you choose to charge. I don't have a problem with Bakewell, so now let us be known, right? You choose to charge local people who are putting back in this community, who hire young people from this community. You choose to charge them, but you come to bear from the equal. Who will the opportunities ask Corwin around that? And when I pull up and I blitz this out on that um, council, that is when they back off. That is when they back off. Because I said, unless they were coming out to the branch, me talking about nobody selling and getting commission from the bread when they sell it. Let me come to Linden and open the branch and hire young people. Then I will talk wavering for them. But until then, you put it in the, in the thing. This council vote for it that everybody got to pay. Let them pay. 
And if I did not put forward that kind of uh, um, opposition, they could have been saying all their friends and families and cronies would have been getting the free pass. And um, I don't got to suffer. This is what is happening in the world, if you are listening to this program. This is the truth and the reality. Why I didn't say this earlier? Why I was fighting it from the inside? And when I couldn't be it no more, there were times when I would have put articles to deal with the issue at hand. Check the Google, check the, 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 the history on Leonard Gap. I've been out there talking. I opposed the position with the tongue clock. And what happened? The young lady won the um, commission of inquiry and won the, um, the court case till now they can't be issued. And you know what? It's calling a remember that on the council. But because what? You go in with an instruction. Get rid of her. And the truth of it, let me tell you, the instruction was to get rid of her and also the sideline, a long-standing comrade in the council. A party comrade, a party, I don't call your name here. But they know better than to put You don't have to be worried, Mr. Gasper. The Guyanese Critic Progress Report and Morning Live, we call names. <laughs> Once we know you name, you could call their name. You ain't got to study. <laughs> no, no, but if you choose not to. People, I will just let them remain anonymous. I but want to force you. That's what she instruction, and she know herself. They are just started to do that. And because I refused to follow the status quo, that was the very same comment that would have supported a lot of um, my position when I took a stand on the counter. And that was a problem for them because they didn't get their way. Do you still have a radio program in Linden, uh, Mr. Lennox? Well, so because of my opposition technically, internally from the party, the program was taken away from me. I do not have a program. That is why I had to run and, and, and apply for a job. I am now working. I'm employed. So if Mr. Figueroa sees that as an opportunity, I sent an application and I, I, I took an interview. <laughs> okay. I, I took an interview. And let us not talk about opportunities and loyalty and whatever. No, 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 get involved in anything with anyone without um, considering what is it you are getting back out of it. I am not talking about what I am getting from it. I want my community. I want my people. I want to know I could look out of my house and see my community looking um, the, the, the way I feel when I'm in Trinidad or if I'm in Barbados or, 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 or anywhere where the streets are clean and the place are well kept and you have proper scenery and not a whole bunch of bush and the place still look like, nine, um, like, like, like 1920. I hear I you. I want to see that. And if I want to see that, and I stand up, you know what? They took away, they took away the program. I used to do the regional health program from since 2005, 2006, right on to 2017. I was in the regional health program entitled Health Watch. And education and informing people of Linden, right now they need to know more about the vaccine and the, um, and the, the COVID-19 um information and what it's not given to them they took the program for me and i give it to another young comrade who didn't understand the makeup of the program and it died a natural death well, we will see everybody on you we that will see of a party. <laughs> when it comes to delivering happen. information effective information and educating the people that is of paramount importance to me so I will see what we can do with the Ministry of Health to ensure that something like that can continue because people need to know how to be healthy. Moreover, now in a COVID-19 environment, in a pandemic environment, uh, people need to know. So we're going to be talking more about that. I want to thank you for your input. And I can tell you, I am very much, uh, not very often, but I am very much impressed with how you present yourself sir uh, and mr lennox we will be doing this more often i am um on my way out to estiquibo tomorrow because i i travel across the country and meet the people hear their issues hear their cries try to get an understanding of what their pulse 
uh, what the pulse is like of the people on the ground. And hence, um, being the Guyanese critic, the realest thing coming out of Guyana, I, I can tell you I'm very interested in us working together. I must say, as a black brother, I'm very impressed at how you purport yourself. Um, and moreover, I feel confident that Linden has the people. It's just maybe the people need right positioning, such as yourself. Um, they need some fine-tuning support. But Linden has the right people um, to get it back on track. And we have to start looking past the politics and getting the people's work done. So um, all of that being said, I would like you, you to take that, Mr. Lennox, as an invitation for us to work together to better develop Linden, brother. Right? And I certainly accept that invitation, sir. Roger, my brother. That's the key word for me. So we talk and we will be having more discussions. Um, as soon as I am back in Georgetown, I'll be calling you and we are going to be getting the first thing is the first project that you see. Well, here, let me tell you. Let me done with all this fancy. Yeah, let me tell you. Not fine. Me don't want you to build a synthetic track. Because a government tried to build a synthetic track. And they could not complete it. <laughs> See something? Will you know the two wheels are going to look bad? We I could have, run to I somebody. This is a synthetic track at the end that I have. Um, open, play field and parts and um, areas, recreational space that people can go and um, enjoy the sceneries and the, the, the aesthetics and be able to relax. Those are the things, those are the projects that I have on the front porch. Beautiful. Those areas I say, but it is over, um, taken by bushes. Beautiful. And all kinds of reptiles are there, and it depends the, the, the area and the community. I... Those are the things that I will start. And, 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 and the area needs, so when they're reopening a school, the area needs um, for parts for the children, the department, the, the there is none. When you sell these visions and ideas, the level of the council is always moving and getting money from and what, 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 what. Well, here, yeah, I am staying here with your program, and I, I already said to you, I accept your assistance. And any um, person or party that is willing to work, I am willing to work with them to bring development to Linden. I have seen this done before by a, a, a friend of mine when he attempted to, to bring some development, and the, the, the very Linden people attack. Attack, attack, but people just didn't understand. And when I tried to tell them, I said, it doesn't matter where the different centuries come from, as long as you move from point A to point B, because if you're drunk, then you don't look at that. Oh, this person passing, I don't have to hear, I don't have to see. And if I don't want them, and they come up, I have to organize, neighbor Jane, I was minding business, I ain't a car spell. When you hire for help, you hire for help, you won't care who helps you. <laughs> And now that I could go to a rope for help, you don't have to get rescue from your situation. Why people can't seem to understand that simple logic? And why is the party that uh, of, 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 of the people, the majority of the persons try to lend it? Why are they packaging lies and tell the people, oh, PPP want to take over here. If they build this part, they're going to take it over. So let me rally together. I am going to say it to you. I'm not accepting your offer. And I'm going to move toward getting development in LinkedIn. But watch now. Watch out. And we might end up doing another program. To see what will, what, what will take place. Many more programs, Mr. Gasper. Many more programs. <laughs> so we talk, take care, and get ready for action and development in LinkedIn, my brother. I'm always ready. Cool. Take care. So you would have heard their... Uh, 53 minute conversation by myself and Lennox Gaspar, uh, an individual who just today resigned from the PNC um, party. And that was as a result of his that dissatisfaction um, or inability to get things done in that party. And he had a mouthful to say. Um, you know, when I I was all excited about him leaving the PNC and why the PNC is the worst thing ever. And listening to that man speak, 
taking note of a positive black brother. I realized I don't want to talk. If you notice, my demeanor changed somewhere in our conversation. I don't want to talk with the PNC. The PNC, in talking to Gasper, uh, Lennox Gasper, it showed me that the PNC is a spent shell. Gasper and many persons like himself are the new leadership or the new face. Hello, good night. Hey, brother, pleasant good night to you. I got that conversation probably about 20 minutes in. But let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. I just, just like I saw you was about to tear up. I think I was, I was tearing up a bit too because sometimes, you know, me being an afro Guyanese, right? And knowing that development in certain areas are stymied because people in power don't want the other side to look good. To look good, but that is hurting. That is the most. That's the, that's the that's the worst feeling in the world, baby. Just to know that your own would want to stop you from actually developing. And what that man said there is absolutely true. Everything that I listened to the whole conversation, everything that guy said is absolutely true. And like you, I am very, very impressed with how he put his stuff over. You know what I'm saying? So nobody can say it's a light of my life. This one is hard to my talking. You see, man? I just wanted to make that contribution. Safe, brother. Thanks for that. You know, time and time again, I am. Um, I can say today, um, tonight, I am close to where I want to be. And my life goals and achievements are not really personal. If you look at what a patriot does, a patriot cannot consider himself to have achieved if he has not you know, or he is not in a country that's that being is well, that you know is developing and, and these kind of things, a positive country. So you can't be a patriot and you don't do nothing to help and develop your country. So I am going places. I am to some extent achieving some goals, but I can't do this alone. And why do I do what I do? Why do I continuously go and try to give Guyanese a voice? Why do I do what I do? Because I want a better country for my kids. I want a better environment for my grandkids. Hello, good night. Hey, good night. Uh, I don't know if you can say anything. Some people call it and pretending to be who they are not. Just want to understand this. I hate this thing about Guyanese and when it comes to Afro and you know that it's a black man who hates it. I hate it. The day that they decide, the day that they decide to stop using those words, and, and stop treating each other differently, then is when we're going to get a better country. Simply, a lot of them come and try to say that they are Afro Guyanese, but they are not Afro Guyanese speaking. Because those two guys are speaking, together, they are not Afro Guyanese. My brother, my brother, no. let's hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, because we can get around. We can get around. The guy who called just now, it's not African. He's a black man. You ever tell you? No, it's not a black man. Listen no, no, to me. Listen to that's me carefully. Clear. That brother Critic. is a... Critic. Later, a later, man. later. That brother... This is... I, I can't handle this bullshit. No. That brother is a constant contributor. We meet. We talk. This brother, I know he. 
Me want to hear what you guys say. Me want to hear what you guys say. Me the internet kind of bullshit. Though. Don't waste your time for calling me. Don't waste your time for calling me. Hello? Hello? Don't waste your time for car and block your number. Don't, don't, don't start with the bullshit. The four, with the two callers. The first caller, the man pitches up there. I ain't never done bullshit tonight. I, I, what is wrong with y'all people? We having a, a flow, a positive effect. Energy, a aura. Are you a call for that bullshit? <laughs> now hear what I'm saying. Listening to Lennox Casper. When I began, I got, yeah, yeah, I know it's be real with y'all. The excitement was, oh, somebody left the PLC. Let me hear what you think. And listening to the man speak, hear him maintaining his composure after being told of what people are saying about him and seeing him being on point. Bro, bro, say nothing. You didn't have yeah, to call bro. back to answer. Yeah, I wanted, I, had, I was just hoping you would go, you go pick the phone up again, man, because that clown that just called, it makes no type of sense. You see, that's what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Just because you don't sound, hey, we do over here, and them saying the nonsense. Yo, I don't have to prove that I'm a black man to, 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 to anybody. Brother, I remember I know you. I know you, you know me, bro. <laughs> you see me? <laughs> I know you, and you know me. And don't, you know how long we, we know each other. Don't worry you with that, me? brother. Don't worry with that. That's why I caught you, because I get real pissed at just now. Like, like yeah, yeah, you know, you know this my vice. You, you, you know? <laughs> don't let it get to you, brother. You see, another thing, that's the, that's what they do. You see, it's all about it's all about um what is called brainwashing and manipulation, subliminal messages, but that shit is transparent to people like you and me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All them colors you paint in this this place green all over, that is brainwashing B. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, if he, he getting caught up with the accent, yeah, I'm a black man. You know what I'm saying? Black guy in ease, if you don't understand what Afro guy in ease means. Cool brother. Later, son. Safe man. He's just, don't, don't worry, he got the issues then. He got the issues, make it call, you know, I don't think he, he meant it wrong, but he just felt that, well, why want people make call and, and say the black, right? This is the man, the man, the man profile picture, the, I know the man, is that people, yeah, it's that certain people's call, I know them. It's just like, you say, hey, one boy, ding, ding, you know, I know these people. So, um, In being real, in being positive, I feel Suresh Nath. Um, somebody, Nirmala, see you pin Suresh Nath comment up there. I don't think that's worth well pinning. Next is Ganesh, but he's shame. I don't find that funny and, and something worth pinning. So take it off from there, Nirmala. Um, yeah. So... I listening to the back. Let me tell you, we started with the scratch. What really I wanted to say. Um, after I think, I said, Oh, the PNT, we go put lash on it. And when I hear this banner speak, Lennox Castle, I feel so positive. Right away, I calculate. Me want to talk with PNT more. I want to talk about development for Lennox. This is the man. Hi, good night. Hi, good day. Good night. I was on Facebook today. I know some of those things I was spoken about. A man, it got me angry. I think I caught word about it, but I'll tell you something. Listening to Jasper just now, it was a very humbling experience for me. I'll tell you why. That man doesn't want, I mean, yeah, he may want something for himself, but very small. He wants his community. He's willing to work with anybody. You could hear the, 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 the genuine concern for his community in him. I mean, come on. And that goes to show you of, of how these PNC people are. They would sacrifice their own mother just so that, 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 uh, you know, she will look better than them. 
And it, you know, when I listened to him and I did his dreams of his community, it was humbling. It's a humble, it's a humbling experience for me to listen to him speak as a black brother. You know? I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, Tracy. Cool. So. Do you know what I'm saying? We got placed in meanwhile, 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 Lennox. In the, if, if he feels fit to, to join the people, is that I want Lennox to be a servant to the people. I want Lennox to be um, supporting the people of Linden, Linden, the people of Linden. You know, when you find, and we talk about Linden now, everywhere needs support. But when you find people with leadership qualities like Lennox Casper, you got to hold on to them. You got to support them. You got to nurture. You know where is it where you send. You imagine I, I farm a party at yeah. Lennox. You listen to that man there. Do you know, except for Jagdio, Nandalal, Priya Manichan, and maybe two other ministers, you know, people, not people can't attack the man. They got ministers in the country can't attack the man. You all listen to the man. And, and, and you got to pay respect. To representation. If it is so that the PNC is suggesting that blacks are being marginalized, this problem, they race game of the play. You know, is it when you got Malik Gasper? You hear Gasper hollering, I am black? Gasper is black and he's proud. And we should be proud of him because he knows how to purport himself. Yes, and he wanted the toggy toggies. This is a man who would take care of everybody, no matter who you are. What is your concern? What is your affiliation? This is a man who is ready to play ball. And that is what is needed in leadership. People who could look past their personal feelings and say, my, you have no. I think I'll take a part. Because this is going to service the community help the youths. You understand? So, let us look at a future with Lennox Gasper as a representative in Linden in whatever capacity. I will be talking to everybody who I contact in a new week to make sure the next project that Gasper brings up is delivered. Up. Is it fudging crass? Where are you going from me? Guys. Good night and take care. Yeah, what's it?